Hello everyone. Does Anki fully work on Chromebooks and is it easy to install? The answer is yes. This video is for Anki users who are thinking of buying a Chromebook. I use Anki a lot and was a bit reluctant to buy a Chromebook. I wasn't really sure whether Anki would fully work or whether it would be easy to install, etc. If you've never heard of Anki, I highly recommend you search about it. It's perhaps the most famous software for memorization to make flashcards. If you are a language student or uh, you are at medical school, engineering, Anki is great for that. And is Anki fully functional in a Chrome OS system? Yes. I've tested Anki briefly in this machine. This is an Acer Chromebook 314 and so far it's been functional. I've made some cards, I also installed some add-ons and everything works. The only thing that didn't work initially was the sound. If you have flashcards with sound files, perhaps a message will pop up asking you to install a software called mPlayer, which is very easy. I found this solution here. You just have to type this command line in the Linux terminal, which I'm going to show you in a minute. What about Anki? Is it easy to install Anki in a Chromebook? Yes, it's also very easy. The first thing you have to do is to install Linux. So you have to go to the settings of your Chromebook and install Linux from there. Most Chromebooks today, or perhaps all of them, support Linux. You just have to make sure it supports Linux because some old models don't. After the installation of Linux, I'm going to leave you a link in the description here of this video. It's just a four minute tutorial. Uh, after a few minutes of installation, you can come to the terminal, which is here. You come to the Linux terminal and type sudo apt install anki and press enter. And that's it, your anki is installed. Of course, mine is already installed, uh, it may take you a few minutes. And the other question that I had, is anki fully integrated to the Chrome OS system? Or does it work in a sort of a virtual machine or in a separate desktop? No, as you can see, it works in the same desktop as other apps. So it's fully integrated to the Chrome OS system. The only thing that you have to uh, check when you're going to upload some kind of file, a picture, for example, you have to make sure this picture, this file is in the Linux folder. This is the folder uh, where your Linux programs are going to communicate with your computer. Apart from that, everything works the same as they would in a Windows machine or a MacBook. What about screenshots? I use screenshots a lot to make my Anki cards. What is it like to make a screenshot in a Chrome OS? It's very easy. You just have to press Shift, Control, plus Show Windows. This is a special button you find at the top of your keyboard. I like to take uh, screenshots of my textbooks. I'm going to show you an example. So it's also very easy to manage windows. You just have, you can just snap the windows to the corner. So this is my textbook and this is my card that I'm making. This is a special field that I created, it's my context. So let's take a screenshot of my textbook here. I take a screenshot, copy, and I paste here in the context field. And I like to freeze. I use an add-on called frozen fields. I freeze this field of my screenshot so I can use the same context for multiple cards. And here I type my question and my answer. I also have special fields for TTS, that is text to speech. 
I use an add-on called Awesome TTS, which most probably you know if you are an Anki user. This is one of the most famous add-ons. Uh, I type exactly what I want Anki to read because sometimes Anki doesn't read uh, symbols like two plus two. Maybe it's not going to read the plus the Awesome TTS. So I type I type two plus two or let's say two times two is most probably. So I have to write two times two uh, in the case I want Anki to read my cards exactly the way uh, I want for symbols and abbreviations, etc. Uh, to summarize, to conclude, yes, Anki works perfectly on a Chromebook. You're going to have the same workflow as you would with a Windows machine or with a MacBook. So you don't have to worry about that. Just buy a Chromebook and it's going to work. Well, that's it. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and thanks for watching.